and that one is called geothermal gradient. So that's the reason as why some areas, some spots, water when you touch it, it's somehow cold. Mm. But you see it boiling under. That one is the one which can explain that when the water is warm, then that means it's heated from very near. Mm. It's only the hot water which the water which is extremely hot has come from very deep in the hot mantle. Right. Uh, how, so, how, how many meters are we above sea level here? Sorry. How many meters are we here? Okay. The, the altitude here ranges between 670 mm. to 760 mm. meters above sea level. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is a volcanic area mm. because Semulik National Park lies within the western arm of the East African Rift Valley. So it being a Rift Valley, there are several processes which lead to different land formations. Like when you see this site, we have Rezor Mountain, which is formed as a result of cold. So these hot springs are formed as a result of So magma can be in solid or liquid state. So what heats up this water is the magma which is in liquid state. So when when it rains, then the rain water percolates within the cracks within the earth surface and uh, where there are fault lines then the rain water will manage to reach the hot mantle or hot rocks underground, then it's that water which is superheated when it reaches the hot mantle. Then as it's heated because it's lighter than water, then pressure is created, then it comes back on the surface when it's very hot, forming these hot springs. We also have other kinds of hot springs called geysers. Geysers are also hot like these hot springs, but the, the only difference is that water for geyser, geysers is periodic. We can be here and all of a sudden, like after seconds, you see water oozing out and then again it stops. Then those are what we call geysers. Water comes after some minutes or seconds, then it stops. So some tourists are interested, they keep their cameras on standby. When water begins to come out, then they photograph it and it stops then. Okay, thank you. Yeah. We also have other kinds of hot springs called mud pools. So when water percolates in the ground and meets 